Okay, let me repeat the question. Why is this industry termed as information technology? Because customer cares for the data. Customer cares for data. The data may be individual elements of their business critical data irrespective of the programming languages that we use whether we use Java or .NET or Oracle programming language Perl, Python or operating systems customer cares for data example for a data is if I take a bank okay for a bank deposit amount is a data deposit date is a data account number is a data each and every piece of something that we want to save we want to store and then at a later point of time get it back all those things fall under data and there is something called the information okay information meaning okay information meaning is collection of data collection okay of data must mean something to the customer that's why okay if it doesn't mean something to the customer he may throw the data out okay so that is why this whole industry instead of naming it as computer technology or software technology or programming technology they named it as information technology so information is the key is the key and is primary languages or OS are secondary as long as we are able to keep the information intact customer is definitely happy irrespective of the programming languages now how is the information kept how is the information stored right the purpose of database okay the purpose of database is number one store data number two is retrieve data these two are the most important thing in database aspects I must store data I must retrieve data these two are the foremost information now if you look at most of the information that we store they may be in a document they may be in a spreadsheet or they may be in a simple notepad file any information stored right is a database but the efficiency of the database comes I am also saving data in Excel sheet I am also saving data in Word document I am also saving data in notepad but I want to retrieve the data in the way I want you can always retrieve data in a spreadsheet or a document in full so you have to open the entire document to see that you cannot get only one portion of the data but if I want to retrieve only the information I want that is where this database helps so storing important points storing the data retrieving the data these two are the four most qualities of a database okay now you might have heard lot of stuff about what is DBMS then what is RDBMS this is one of the standard things that people get carried away what is DBMS and RDBMS people may ask this question in the interview but let us get a simple concept anywhere I store the data it's a DBMS if I am able to store okay that means 
there is something called there is a concept called crude C R U D you call it as crude this means C for create R for read U for update D for delete if some software helps you to create data to read or view the data or update the data or delete the data if it supports crude it is DBMS point blank so I can say a spreadsheet is a DBMS database management system even a file can be a database management system a normal flat file maybe you, you might have heard about COBOL files in olden days files maintained by C a flat file on the disk is a definite database management system but off late maybe in the last two decades we came about RDBMS also RDBMS stands for relational database management system so then what is the relation there are lot of relationship we are going to see at a later point of time I will be introducing most of the concepts one after the other again this is a free webinar this is conducted by open mentor a few people are asking oh, what is the motto behind this open mentor we will discuss about that later but this is a free webinar powered by open mentor sponsored by softsmith infotech coming back to RDBMS relational database management system I can give a simple example if at all we have a train ticket a confirmed ticket and it must have a passenger name in it right if I show a ticket this is a confirmed railways reservation ticket it must have a ticket number or a registration number it must have a passenger name so a ticket is related with the passenger always a ticket is related to a train always a ticket is related to a seat to a passenger always so there is a relationship between every data passenger is a data train name is a data date of journey is a data the ticket ID is a data all these have a relationship olden day files like flat files or simple spreadsheets they do not maintain the relationship modern day databases such as Oracle, MS SQL, MySQL, IBM DB2 they maintain relationship okay if the database itself maintains the relationship if the database itself maintains rules there is something called rules I can say there are certain rules that we can say for example the ticket category must be either seating or sleeper okay it cannot be anything other than that if I am storing in a spreadsheet I can store any data but if I have to enforce a rule ticket type must be either sleeper or seated if I have to enforce the rule database itself will do the job the last two decades right if the database maintains relationship if the database itself maintains rules then it is called relational database management system so why people uh, moved from DBMS and RDBMS examples of DBMS are even a normal flat file yesteryear's Fox Pro, DBase they are all normal DBMS but in those days also you can ask me a question even before 1980s also there was a relationship between a bank account and the deposit there is a relationship between the account holder and the account how did they maintain? in olden days programming language maintained relations DBMS just stored the data so everything 
people have to program 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 it's it's a hell a lot of maintenance work later they found out to maintain the relationship under rules why can't we have database itself having the intelligence so the modern day rdbms started doing the relationship so that the headache for the programmer was made very very easy so there is no more worries about database consistency and the relationship that is why rdbms came into existence is this first concept clear crude store data retrieve data dbms rdbms is that clear to you all can you please raise the hands okay great now let us move to the next concept as i said open mentor is interested in educating people worldwide for free our motto is the whole world can learn for free that's our motto and we are very clear that people should know the fundamentals with utmost clarity if the fundamentals are clear right then technology can be learned very quickly syntax can be learned very quickly so we are trying to do that part very very good okay now the next concept i am simply taking the excel sheet i am going to the sheet number 2 from sheet number 1 i am moving to sheet number